Okay, this is closing remarks for Cancer of the Karmic. Um, you're very slow. Yes, shamans have been woken up to backfire spell work. If you can do spell work as much as you want, why can't someone reverse it? Why, why are you so powerful? That's not how that works. That's what church is for. Okay, spells get broken every, you know, church is three times a week now, Wednesdays, Saturdays, and Sundays. So I, I don't understand what, what you think is going on in your demented head. Over 13 days ago, okay, I posted a message that says, cancer the karmic. Okay, you can go listen to it. That's you. I opened up and I saw all the spell work that you were doing, all the people that you were sleeping with and trying to manipulate your energy. You weren't just sleeping with him. You're using men to manipulate star energy to generate um, host energy off the men that you were sleeping with. Okay. And it's all been, once it gets brought to light, then you go under judgment. Okay. You got caught doing spell work on an emperor and empress. You can't just string along whoever the fuck you want. That's not how that works. Okay. Um, he was a high priestess. You guys were harvesting him for his energy. He did not sell his soul to the devil. He's allowed to break free whenever he wants. Shamrock Tarot general reading rules could be reversed, may not resonate. <sighs> Nobody um, ordered you to spy. So you keep clipping on someone's page. You know, it creates a worm on their page. And anybody who studies IT knows how to look at that. Can code read and see who's clicking on someone's page obsessively. Closing oracles, please, for this nitwit cancer. I mean, I'm surprised from all the amount of drugs that you've done. I'm surprised you still have a head of hair on you. Done being nice. Not what do you know? The devil. You're out of powers. You've been out of powers. Then you start harvesting energy off of men to create your own star you have hexed and cursed yourself multiple multiple times over and over and over again until it turns and we let this, the spell work go as far as it can or as far as it goes and it always results in someone trying to sacrifice the innocent yeah all over love your empty cups of love he didn't steal anything from you you guys did an exchange your karmic twin so it wasn't even he took your two a cup your real two of cups and gave you two empty cups okay well that's what you get for playing with the devil trickery you, you just want to put everybody in illusion spells and it all just backfired on you so you got an empty cup of love then you try playing it again on him so you got another empty cup of love see it's empty empty romance empty leave it do, do not look at this stuff empty all these cups are empty there's one cup of love that comes in or an even exchange with a real twin that yep, high pan thank you yeah you always had choices in love choices in love manipulating anything thinking that you could just keep turning men on by doing your pathetic lap dances maybe you should have been getting money you know i mean come on now and then having sex for free, I mean, that just makes you a fucking slut as all can be. Then the STD going around, I mean, you're all sluts or whores. Yeah, you're an idiot. Yeah, all these illusion spells backfired on you. You're a delusional, we call you. Here's judgment, still sorting out all your stupid spell work. You've been put to death, put to rest, the coffin energy. There's no moving forward, everything's been blocked. Yeah, you're, you're the one trying to block everybody's victory and success with moving forward because you're just like, oh, it's all mine. I gave my ass up to him. Yeah. That's your own damn fault. I think you need to harvest people's energy through sex. I mean, what is wrong with you? You need a heavily, heavily psych evaluation. Lucky you didn't get arrested. You could be on the watch list for prostitution. I don't know what goes on in your town. I mean, you got multiple men in and out of your house. You won't let anybody who lives with you. You want to claim that this person's a twin, but you won't let them live with you. Okay, yeah. Everything has to be done at someone else's house. Because you're a prostitute. You're probably a prostitute as soon as the, the sun goes down. You're a slut with your friends and a prostitute at night. And judgment's being called on this. I mean, you are just a complete failure. Complete failure. Fell right on your head when you took that leap of faith into the unknown. Yeah, all over sex. Oh, you sacrificed a child too with uh, 
an abortion. Yeah, and, and I wonder why all the abortion is put on, put on a held hold, huh? I mean, red flags when people doing witchcraft and there's an overflow of people coming into the abortion clinics. So that's technically murder, okay? Then you were trying to do it again with him. Oh, I love you. Just come inside me. What? How is a, a, a thing, an endo, going to give you powers that you murder? How is that going to benefit you? And you're having a tower over this. All these people in your past probably telling you you're a slut straight to your face. Anything else? It's all over money. Yeah, your karmic lesson. Surprise! Welcome to reality. You're a karmic. Overdoing your attraction. Yeah, you're a beggar now. Please, I need money. I can't stand on my feet anymore. Yeah, because you don't have any muscles because you don't eat because you're a crackhead. Yeah, you definitely woke up the beast, the bitch. Well, you deserve it. You won't stop. So now I got to tell you off. Yeah, you're completely worthless. You have nothing to offer anybody but a bed to, and his legs spread wide open. Yeah, it's all over magic. And now you're getting mad because your magic's not working. Oh, she can't do that. Okay, well, yeah, she can. And for high priestess of the most high God most certainly can. Somebody's got to do this job. Yeah, you've been cut out, obviously. The only reason why you were up in heaven for that little tiny bit is because he was strung to somebody that was up here. Waiting for all this to come to the light. Now you're burdened. Yeah, all over penises. That's all I see is penis, penis, penis. All your empty cups. Yeah, you thought this was some kind of sacred union. How? How? I really like to know what book you guys read this from. This is all just twisted in your mind, your head. Yeah, this has been put to death, whatever you're doing. You probably did sleep with an undercover cop. Well, there's still some other stuff we're waiting to reveal. Oh, yeah, you were doing the, the death spell. Oh, you did a death spell on him. Why? Because he rejected you. Oh, that, that's real nice. Yeah, you get the broken heart because you did this to yourself. You were trying to give him the broken heart and did a death spell attached to it. And you were hexing, cursing yourself, and the backfire happened. And it backfired on you. So who's the Taurus, hmm? You just automatically thought you were in a holy matrimony because you slept with an emperor? I mean, that makes total sense, lady. Total sense. Now all your demons and everything you try to touch and everything is coming back to haunt you in your nightmare house that you've created for yourself. You woke up into the reality that you've created for yourself. All over jealousy. All over jealousy. Now everything's hidden from you, Pisces. Somehow you, in your twisted mind, thought that this was some kind of marriage because you had sex with him. Is that what the other one thinks, too? I mean, come on, people. It's the most retarded thing I've ever heard in my life. And I really like to know who told you that or where you got that information because that's probably the only thing that's going to save you in the spiritual court, which you don't have proof of because this is all make-believe bullshit crap that you put in your head. And all you are all strung together like little puppets and just believe it. Demons don't talk. Lower levels don't talk. That's why you need a Ouija board, okay? So you're just hearing and making up things in your mind. Because you're fucking crazy, okay? Nutcase. Yeah, oh, well, oh, yeah, because he let go of you. Like, he can walk away. Anybody can walk away from anybody whenever they want, if you're married or not married to them. In your magical world of make-believe. Well, you think you're married to all the men you sleep with every single day? Yeah, please. Oh, you're fucking disgusting. Yeah, you thought you were a high priestess. High priestesses keep themselves clean and worthy for God. And that is the truth. And I'm stopping. 